Hello and welcome to another Spectrum Geeks video. My name is Dale and in today's video we're talking about this. It's an ash cleaner for your fire. Okay, so thanks for tuning in for this video. Just a quick one. Um, we've got this log burner here and it's going to need to be replaced at some point because the back plate has split. We will get another one in the future. But I've been using my little Ryobi Hoover to kind of vac out the contents of it. It's obviously making a mess of everything. And I didn't even realise these existed, which is why I thought I'd do this video. You can get these little things that is basically a vacuum just for ash. So this one is the Von House Ash Vacuum Cleaner. Um, didn't cost that much, I think it was about £50. Um, so I thought we'd try it out, let you know what I think of it. In terms of uh, boxing, it just comes in a plain cardboard box and it comes with a few things uh, included with the cleaner. So you get this standard nozzle attachment just here. You get this other attachment with a, a debris filter on it, which is a little bit rubbish so far, it doesn't seem to kind of do up very well. And then inside you get a HEPA filter with a little mesh on it, so little bits of charcoal and whatnot don't kind of smash through there. And you also get this um, other, um, basically a fabric filter, which again, I don't think you probably want that on with the, the charcoal, but it gives you an option if you want to use something different with it. Weighs um, 3.6 kilograms, so pretty light has uh, 800 watts power in terms of your sucking motion. And in terms of its height, it's around 30.5 centimeters top to bottom and 31 centimeters wide. It has a four meter power cord with it, so plenty of power cord length to get from your plug socket over to where your fire is. And it has a 1.25 meter hose. Um, so yeah, has a two year warranty. Um, but yeah, the main thing is to have a little look and see how well can it suck the ash out of your fire. Could use this with a fire pit and stuff outside as well if you had an extension cable. Okay, so just open things up and I'm put the HEPA filter on. It just kind of pushes on, but I'm not going to put the fabric filter in there just because I can't see the point in kind of having to clean all of that out. And then we just basically reattach it at the front and there's these two little metal clasps go on the side and obviously there's that kind of little pop-up handle in the middle here to make it easy to move around and uh, then let's have a little look so it's 15 litres of storage in that container so you should be good to even have a quite a large kind of lock burner you should better clean that out okay so everything attached you just basically can just turn it on and off quite simply here kind of cool when you turn it on watch the handle Uh, so it's a good amount of suction power there. Um, I'm going to start off actually not using any of the nozzles, just um, clean actually with the end maybe. No, let's use a crevice tool, but let me show you kind of how things look inside here. Like I said, needs replacing, but um, we'll see how all this sucks and can clean things out. Also with a crevice tool we can get all in and around there as well. Okay, so actually you need to put this extension on first before you can put the crevice tool. It doesn't actually fit in to the plastic piece, but let's, uh, let's have a go. Okay, so that's done a really good job and my hands aren't a single bit dirty at all, which is what normally happens when I'm kind of trying to sweep and brush it up. So in terms of thoughts of how the unit works, I think it works really well, good suction. It does get a little bit hot on the top there, so just after cleaning that out, um, there is, you know, it does feel quite warm in terms of 
um, where the motor is. Obviously inside it's full of ash, so obviously you've got to dispose of that, or maybe in my case I've got chickens, you can use ash um, in their dirt bath. In terms of the nozzles, um, the crevice nozzle worked really, really well. I didn't bother trying using this um, debris protector because it just seems a bit pointless and the, the I guess it must be steel or something, but the metal that it's made with doesn't want to compress very easily. So when you try and put it on here, which you should kind of have it kind of round about here and tie up with that kind of wing nut thing, it doesn't go any further. It's not easily possible to compress it. So I'd probably bin this and not bother with it. Again, can't decide if it's worth using uh, this fabric filter. In theory, it would keep the HEPA filter cleaner and then you just gotta clean this. Uh, I guess any time will tell with that, but I just want to share it quickly because, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I naively wasn't aware that um, these ash vacs were a thing. Obviously, it's just a vacuum cleaner that you're just using it for ash, but um, sounds obvious. But being new to having a home that has one of these stoves, just thought I'd share it with you, it might be of interest. If you've got any other suggestions or tips on fire cleaning and maintenance and what have you, uh, if you've got an ash vacuum or something you want to recommend to people, please leave comments down below. But uh, I'll put a link to this uh, in the description if you're interested. It will be an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you any more, but does help support the channel if you decide to grab one of these from Amazon yourself. But thanks very much for watching. As always, like, subscribe, consider becoming a YouTube member. Do all the good things. Follow me on the other social media channels as well. But until next video, take care of yourself. Goodbye for now.